Welcome back everybody and today we are going to be making a, a light bulb um, so let's get straight into this um, so we're going to delete the cube uh, shift uh, let's turn the screencast keys on okay so we're going to create a UV sphere to begin with and go into edit go into we need proportional editing on uh, let's select the vertices that we need and then all we're going to do is pull them just pull them straight down um, we can adjust the so you can get a light bulb kind of shape we can put in a couple of curves and just scale them down select this curve oh, scale and this one and scale let's just chuck a curve in there scale that down to your happy you've got a light bulb kind of shape these ones here uh, let's select those and those and then we're going to um, scale Z zero okay and then what we're going to do you can either make the bottom metal piece out of this or just add in a um, cylinder but we are going to make it out of this so what we're going to do is select faces and then we want these ones as well and then we're just going to extrude these down on the uh, Z just to give it the bottom piece um, and then just scale that on in turn off proportional editing okay and then this line we're just gonna bring down like so and then all these on the bottom here we can just select all them and then we're just gonna scale them in Number three for faces, and then just that one, and then just uh, bring them down, and then scale on in because this is going to be the bottom part, so that's pretty cool. And then just extrude them on the Z again, and then scale those in like so okay so this is going to be the metal part and obviously this is going to be the glass so next thing we need is the the thread to go around the edge there okay so we need to come out of edit mode shift a create a bezier curve oh no we don't um let's undo that shift a and we need to create a circle okay let's just bring that down um, G on the Z and then rotate on the Y 90 let's just scale that right down a bit Right, what we need is to add a modifier, which is the screw modifier. Okay, let's select our shape. Um, 360 screw, 360. Um, let's give it a few wind ups. Send it back here and then give it some 
of that. We need to up the steps so it's in a circle. Let's just give it a bit more. Can we scale that down? No. Okay, and then we can apply that. Um, now we can scale that down to our size that we need. Um, let's just bring it on over the bottom there, and then we can just bring it on, bring it on in like so, and just scale it down like that. We can convert the object to a mesh, okay, and then what we can do is the end bits here we can select the vertices here so number one let's unselect um alt and select and scale those down and the same as these ones here scale those down you can obviously move that and obviously move that and then let's just go back up here into our threaded part okay and then just scale it down so that you just well, basically, so it just looks like a thread on a piece of metal blended into the metal. Like so. Um, might need a little bit, scale it down a little bit more. And then bring that forward. Okay, so there's your thread done. Um, what we need to do now is create a material for that, which is going to be metal. Um, so we need to up the metallic. And let's just make sure this is happening. And then also on here, we need to make sure that the bottom piece um, faces all those, not those, but those, are also metallic so we need to up that as well and assign it to there these ones we need a new material which is just going to be um, black and then assign and then these we're going to have another new material which is going to be glass Oh, I've got my caps lock on, never mind. Okay, and then we just uh, select all those again. And oh, my screencast is not working again. Select those, those, those. Oops, not those. Those, 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 those. And the top ones we just do a C and select all them. What the heck? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, what the hell? Let's just undo that. There we go. So all these are going to be assigned to the glass. Okay. Um, what we need to do is go into change that to glass. Go into shader. Um, 
and then we need to add a trans our mixer we need to add a mix mix shader we also need to add a transparency okay and then just chuck that one in there Let's just close that. Okay. Let's just change our render out to cycles. Right, so there we go, we got that. Let's just W shade smooth. Right, what we need now is the filament in the middle there. So let's just come out of there. Um, Shift A. And we need a cylinder. Obviously not that big, so let's just scale that right down and up. Uh, scale that down a bit more. Okay, let's just bring it on over. And then we need two, shift D on the Y. All there is is there only two shift over a Bezier curve. Um, let's just bring that over. Go into edit mode, and we need to just bring those to to one there and one there. Let's just spin that round like that and bring those two down like so that's actually not too bad let's just bring that one up to there and that one down to there and then we just need to adjust these just so they come up like that let's just bring those down so this is going to be like the filament let's just bring it on over like so and then that is going to have a um, we've got to increase the go into geometry and then bevel to one so that gives us that and we need to add a material so we're going to go we're going to give that an we'll give it an emission a bright orange and that's seven um, and then we'll take all these let's come out of edit mode one two three and then let's just set origin to geometry there we go and then we can just bring that into there um, also what we need to do is adjust the Um, we need to adjust the roughness. Let's just go in there a minute. And then shader. Roughness, let's take that right down so it's nice and clear. The IOR I found about 1.1. I think somewhere it states like 1.5 or something like that. But I find 1.1 is good enough. So there is our rendered image. But what we need to do is for our, we're going to get rid of the light and delete. And I want to put in a. Um, a 
environment texture uh, so we're just going to open go into downloads and going to select that one i'll leave a link in the description below so there you can see we've got our reflection as well um, but what i'm going to do is just put a, a mesh behind it a plane maybe um, rotate that rotate on the y r y 90 and just shove it over there and back a bit and then just scale that bad boy up like so but I'm going to make it that dark color so hopefully when we render let's just get rid of that so there we've got our bulb uh, let's see how we doing um, it looks okay ish we're just going to ch oh, we need our camera let's lock our camera in view and then we can just bring that there so our bulb is in bang in the center there and then what have we got oh, I don't need that okay and then we need um, denoising There. So what we need to do now is render with F12 to render. So we're going to leave that to render. Okay, and here we are back here. Um, so we've got our rendered image. I'm just going to minimize that. We're going to go into compositing. Um, and then what we want is we need our glare. So basically, what we're going to do, we're going to add like a, a glow to this. Um, so we need to add a glare, G-L-A-R-E, glare, and chuck that in there. We also need to add um, view, view, viewer, which we can just chuck in there. What's that? I've never seen that before. Oh, there we go. Um, so okay so we've got a little bit of a glow going on with our filament there but we can change all these so up here in the glare we've got streaks we've got ghosts so there's all different types of um, glare but we're going with a fog glow and we need to round that up to and say nine and as you can see we've got our little bit of a a glowing feature going on there um a simple star it's entirely up to you whichever whatever floats your boat and that you can render that um and then obviously you'll get the That'll be the glow in the 
final image. There we go. Let's add it to the to our little render there. And then obviously every time you make a, a change to your bulb in your modeling, um, then obviously you'll need to render it again for it to take effect. Okay, um, so obviously if you want to um, reduce the strength of your environment image, so obviously this will lower the the lighting and then that will give the the bulb a better glow because at the moment it's on a bit of a because of the lighting was quite high it's kind of like a gray background so you can't really see it that well um, but I'll put the final image as the thumbnail um, anyway I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got a lot out of it if you did give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for notification bell for more great videos and we'll see you on the next video. Ta-da for now.